Yesterday's Edmonton-Vegas game wasn't really ever in doubt score-wise, Edmonton running away with it in the first period, but we did see some fire throughout the game, especially in the last couple of minutes. And with less than a minute left, Darnell Nurse got in a fight with Golden Knights player Nicholas Hag. He also received an instigator penalty, and under Rule 4621, a player who is deemed to be the instigator of an altercation in the final five minutes of regulation time shall be suspended for one game, pending a review of the incident, with the head coach also being being fined $10,000. However, there is some discretion built in here as hockey operations may waive the suspension where the incident is not related to score, previous incidents in the game, retaliation, or just general message sending. So the NHL reviewed Nurse's penalty and decided to uphold the one game suspension, so he won't be around for game five. And honestly, this seems like a nonsense call. And I mean, the biggest reason for this is that Nurse didn't appear to actually be the instigator, apparently it was Hag who was looking for a fight. Nurse said so. Even Mark Stone, who obviously plays on the Golden Knights, said yeah, he thought that Nurse just accepted the fight. In a really stupid way, I have to wonder whether the NHL is looking at the fact that this came just moments after Petrangelo's just absolutely dumbass two-handed swing on Dreisaitl. That was such a bad play. It's just been learned that he will be suspended one game for it. I would have given him two, whatever. But the suspension discretion in 46.21 is said to be be based on whether the instigation was based on some prior play. For example, trying to force an unwilling person to fight to make up for something like this. But again, given the fact that Dreisaitl factually wasn't the instigator here, this should have been waived. Just to sort of end this off, Wyshynski tweeted that the NHL tells me auto suspensions were shifted from hockey ops to player safety. Nurse's suspension being upheld was a George Perros call. Shift makes sense. Hockey ops is more about unsportsmanlike conduct than physical fouls. But that doesn't make sense because the point of the rule is to prevent unsportsmanlike conduct, to prevent games from getting completely out of hand with people instigating fights to make up for the score being lopsided or whatever. This specific fighting rule is not about protecting players, at least not on a first level. Obviously, that's the ultimate goal, but it's more about controlling the game and stopping things from getting out of hand. It's the same reason there's a very big fine for fighting outside of regulation time. I think it's 10 games. It's not because those fights are more dangerous, it's because it leads to games going completely out of hand. So if George Peros made this decision, he made the wrong one. That's just my thought though, I'm sure you'll let me know yours. This one was pretty clearly an Edmonton game. Bukestad scored nice off a wraparound. Bouchard then with a big one. That's his second nuclear bomb drop this week. Call the fire department. We just nuked the building. Then Ekholm would get another one in the first. It ended up being 4-1 Edmonton with one of the more exciting series right now. The second round has kind of been a wash going to game five now tomorrow night. My thoughts though, let me know yours below.